Hello everyone. Welcome to this deep dive into the world of Wi-Fi security. Today we're going to explore how to hack Wi-Fi passwords in 2025, focusing on WPA2 and WPA3 cracking. But don't worry, we're here to educate, not to encourage any illegal activities. Wi-Fi is an essential part of our daily lives. Whether we're browsing the internet at home, working remotely, or streaming our favorite shows, we rely on secure Wi-Fi connections. That's why it's crucial to understand the security protocols that protect our networks and how they can be compromised. As we go through this topic, feel free to leave your comments and questions below. Let's make this a lively discussion. Your input is valuable and we can all learn from each other. So without further ado, let's get started on our journey to understand Wi-Fi security better. Ready? Let's dive in. Before we delve deeper, it's important to note that the information shared here is strictly for educational purposes. Hacking into Wi-Fi networks without permission is illegal and unethical. Our goal is to help you understand the vulnerabilities in Wi-Fi security so you can protect your own networks better. Ethical hacking is about using your skills to improve security, not to exploit it. By learning about these techniques, you can better defend against potential attacks. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility, Use your knowledge wisely and always stay on the right side of the law. If you're interested in pursuing a career in cybersecurity, there are many legitimate ways to practice your skills, such as participating in Capture the Flag, CTF competitions, or working on bug bounty programs. These platforms allow you to test your abilities in a controlled and legal environment. So let's proceed with an ethical mindset and a focus on enhancing our security awareness. Together, we can make the internet a safer place for everyone. Wi-Fi security is a critical aspect of our digital lives. With the increasing number of connected devices, from smartphones to smart home gadgets, securing our Wi-Fi networks has never been more important. A compromised Wi-Fi network can lead to unauthorized access to sensitive information, financial loss, and even identity theft. Imagine a scenario where a hacker gains access to your home network. They could intercept your online banking transactions, steal your personal data, or even control your smart home devices. The consequences can be devastating. That's why it's vital to ensure that your Wi-Fi network is as secure as possible. Moreover, businesses rely heavily on Wi-Fi for their operations. A breach in a company's Wi-Fi network can result in the theft of confidential business information, disruption of services, and significant financial losses. In some cases, it can even damage the company's reputation. In today's interconnected world, Wi-Fi security is not just a technical issue. It's a fundamental aspect of our privacy and safety. By understanding the potential risks and how to mitigate them, we can protect ourselves and our loved ones from cyber threats. Now that we've established the importance of Wi-Fi security, let's talk about the protocols that keep our networks safe. WPA2, or Wi-Fi Protected Access 2, and WPA3, or Wi-Fi Protected Access 3, are the most widely used security protocols for Wi-Fi networks today. WPA2 has been around since 2004 and has served as the standard for Wi-Fi security for many years. It uses a strong encryption method called AES, or Advanced Encryption Standard, to protect data transmitted over the network. While WPA2 has been effective in providing security, it is not without its vulnerabilities. WPA3, introduced in 2018, is the latest and most advanced Wi-Fi security protocol. It addresses some of the weaknesses of WPA2 and introduces new features to enhance security. For example, WPA3 includes stronger encryption methods, improved protection against brute force attacks, and individualized data encryption for each device connected to the network. Despite these advancements, no security protocol is completely foolproof. Both WPA2 and WPA3 have their vulnerabilities, and understanding these weaknesses is key to protecting your network. In the following sections, we'll delve into the specific vulnerabilities of each protocol and how you can safeguard against them. Section 5. Explain common WPA2 vulnerabilities and how to prevent them. WPA2, while robust, is not immune to attacks. One of the most well-known vulnerabilities is the crack or key reinstallation attack, discovered in 2017. This attack exploits a flaw in the WPA2 handshake process, allowing attackers to decrypt data transmitted over the network. Although patches have been released to mitigate crack, not all devices have been updated, 
leaving some networks still vulnerable. Another common vulnerability is the brute force attack on WPA2 passwords. If a Wi-Fi network uses a weak or easily guessable password, attackers can use automated tools to try different combinations until they find the correct one. This is why it's crucial to use strong, complex passwords for your Wi-Fi network. Additionally, WPA2 networks can be susceptible to dictionary attacks, where attackers use a pre-compiled list of common passwords to gain access. To prevent this, Avoid using common or easily guessable passwords and change your Wi-Fi password regularly. To enhance the security of your WPA2 network, ensure that all your devices are updated with the latest firmware and security patches. Use a strong, unique password for your Wi-Fi network and consider enabling additional security features such as MAC address, filtering and disabling WPS, or Wi-Fi protected setup. Section 6. Discuss emerging WPA3 vulnerabilities and social engineering tactics. While WPA3 offers enhanced security features, it is not without its flaws. One of the emerging vulnerabilities in WPA3 is the Dragon Blood attack, discovered shortly after the protocol's release. This attack exploits weaknesses in the WPA3 handshake process, allowing attackers to recover passwords and decrypt data. Although patches have been released to address Dragon Blood, it highlights the fact that even the latest security protocols can have vulnerabilities. Social engineering tactics are another significant threat to WPA3 networks. Attackers may use phishing emails, fake Wi-Fi hotspots, or other deceptive methods to trick users into revealing their Wi-Fi passwords. These tactics rely on human error rather than technical vulnerabilities, making them challenging to defend against. To protect against social engineering attacks, educate yourself and your family or employees about the risks. Be cautious of unsolicited emails or messages asking for sensitive information, and always verify the authenticity of Wi-Fi networks before connecting. Additionally, consider using multi-factor authentication, or MFA, for added security. MFA requires users to provide two or more verification factors to gain access, making it more difficult for attackers to compromise your network. By staying informed about the latest threats and implementing best practices, you can better protect your WPA3 network from emerging vulnerabilities and social engineering attacks. Section 7. Share case studies showcasing the impacts of Wi-Fi hacking. To understand the real-world impacts of Wi-Fi hacking, let's look at some case studies. One notable example is the 2017 attack on a major hotel chain. Hackers exploited vulnerabilities in the hotel's Wi-Fi network to steal guests' personal information, including credit card details. The breach affected thousands of guests and resulted in significant financial and reputational damage to the hotel chain. Another case involved a small business that fell victim to a Wi-Fi hacking attack. The attackers gained access to the company's network and installed ransomware, encrypting critical business data and demanding a ransom for its release. The business was forced to pay the ransom to regain access to their data, resulting in financial loss and operational disruption. In a more recent example, a university's Wi-Fi network was compromised by hackers who used it to launch a distributed denial-of-service attack on other networks. The attack caused widespread disruption and highlighted the importance of securing educational institutions' Wi-Fi networks. These case studies demonstrate the severe consequences of Wi-Fi hacking. From financial loss to reputational damage and operational disruption, the impacts can be far-reaching. By understanding these risks, we can take proactive steps to secure our networks and prevent similar incidents. Section 8. Offer practical tips for securing Wi-Fi networks. Securing your Wi-Fi network is essential to protect against potential attacks. Here are some practical tips to enhance your Wi-Fi security. 1. Use strong, unique passwords. Avoid using common or easily guessable passwords. Create a complex password that includes a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters. 2. Keep your firmware updated. Regularly update the firmware of your router and connected devices to ensure they have the latest security patches. 3. Enable WPA3 if available. If your router supports WPA3, enable it for enhanced security. If not, ensure WPA2 is enabled with AES encryption. 4. Disable WPS. Wi-Fi protected setup, or WPS, can be exploited by attackers. Disable this feature to reduce the risk of unauthorized access. 5. Use a guest network. 
Create a separate guest network for visitors to prevent them from accessing your main network and sensitive data. 6. Enable MAC address filtering. Restrict access to your network by allowing only specific devices based on their MAC addresses. 7. Monitor your network. Regularly check for unfamiliar devices connected to your network and investigate any suspicious activity. 8. Educate users. Inform your family or employees about the importance of Wi-Fi security and how to recognize potential threats. By implementing these tips, you can significantly enhance the security of your Wi-Fi network and protect against potential attacks. Section 9. Highlight the importance of continuous learning in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a constantly evolving field, and staying up to date with the latest threats and best practices is crucial. As new vulnerabilities are discovered and new attack methods are developed, continuous learning is essential to protect your network effectively. Consider enrolling in cybersecurity courses or attending workshops and conferences to stay informed about the latest trends and developments. There are also numerous online resources such as blogs, forums, and webinars that provide valuable insights into Wi-Fi security and other cybersecurity topics. Joining cybersecurity communities can also be beneficial. These communities offer opportunities to connect with other professionals, share knowledge, and learn from real-world experiences. By staying engaged and informed, you can better protect your network and contribute to the broader cybersecurity community. Remember, cybersecurity is not a one-time effort, but an ongoing process. Regularly review and update your security measures to ensure they remain effective against emerging threats. By prioritizing continuous learning, you can stay ahead of potential attackers and keep your network secure. Section 10. Recap Key Points and Encourage Viewers to Subscribe In conclusion, Wi-Fi security is a critical aspect of our digital lives. Understanding the vulnerabilities of WPA2 and WPA3 protocols and how to protect against them is essential to safeguarding our networks. We've discussed the importance of using strong passwords, keeping firmware updated, enabling WPA3, and educating users about potential threats. We've also highlighted the impacts of Wi-Fi hacking through real-world case studies and offered practical tips to enhance your network security. Remember, ethical hacking is about using your skills to improve security, not to exploit it. By staying informed and continuously learning, you can better protect your network and contribute to a safer digital environment. Thank you for joining us on this journey to understand Wi-Fi security better. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more educational content on cybersecurity and other tech-related topics. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay safe, stay secure, and keep learning. Until next time.